Hi guys, this is the Innovative Minds Tutor. So hope you are well. In this video, we are continuing doing uh, Mathematics Paper 1, Grade 12, November 2022, National Senior Certificate. Yes, uh, this paper is written in South Africa. If you are new to this video, what are you waiting for? Let's do this. One, two, three. Let's subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Let's grow this community. We are on uh, two. We are about to, to go to 200 subscribers now. We are on 93, 193 subscribers. So let's keep subscribing. You remember that you only subscribe once, right? And don't forget to share and comment, right? Uh, if, um. This question paper uh, was 150 and time was three hours, right? Let's see what is inside. We have already done with question one. If you can check my video one of, uh, of this question paper, we are already done with that. Specifically today, we are going to look at question two. And the remaining question that we should do, uh, it's question six uh, as well as uh, question seven, as, as well as question, it's question six, seven eight and nine and the remaining questions of probability so those are the questions that are remaining in this question paper as we go through each question by question hope you'll find this video useful and um we will win right let's look at the first question the first uh term the first term of a geometric series is 14 and um the sixth term is uh, 448 how many marks is that okay that's two marks then at 2.1.1 we are required to calculate the value of the constant r okay i will show you how we can put this into practice let's do it let's put this into practice uh, we are at 2.1.1 uh, remember that the first term they said it's given as 14 and the sixth term is given as um it's given as 448 okay all right so what are we going to do when it's like this oh we should get happy remember it's a geometric uh service okay so we are going to use a geometric progression it's going to be a r to the power of n minus one which is equals to 448 remember this is a general term of a geometric series so what can we do when it's like this this is what we are going to do our a is given as 14 and remember they said six term so it's going to be we are going to say uh six minus one which will be five in this case it will be five so we are having uh okay we are having 14 and r to the power of 5. Okay, so when we divide both sides here, we divide both sides. So what are we having? Okay, we make r to the power of 5. In this case, how many times does it go to um, 14? How many times does it go to 448? I think it will go 32 times in this case. So we are going to say 5 root. We are going to say 5 root what is five root this and this cancel what is a uh, five root of 32 uh by changing 32 we could say uh 32 will be 2 to the power 5 taking out the root will be will be it's the same as 2 to the power 5 all over 5 which will be 1 and 2 to the power of 1 will be 2 that makes r to be what to be 2 so that's how you can uh solve such now we are going at we are going to do 2.1.2 let's put it in practice at 2.1.2 determine the number of consecutive term that that must be added uh to the first six term of the series in order to obtain a, a sum of 111,674 first thing first you mean you need to collect the data remember that in a geometric series you were given a is 14 and your r is given as the we, we did calculate r as, as 2 and we have the sum here uh, sn as 114 so we are looking for n in other ways that's what we are going to do let's put it into practice 
as I've stated, collect the data first. A is what? 14. R is what? It's 2. SN is what? It's given as 114,674. So what is missing? It's N. So we could use our formula. Uh, we could say SN is equals to A. Uh, okay. R to the power of N minus 1. This is a sum formula. And R minus 1 for geometric series. So we could use this one or the other one. We could use it. It's also applicable. So what is our SN? Our SN is given as 114,674. So our A is given as 14. Then our R is 2. 2 to the power of what? 2 to the power of N minus 1. Because N is the one that we are looking for. And we have 2 minus 1 here. So in this case, 2 minus 1 is the same as 1. 14 divided by 1 is the same as 14. So we are left with 2 to the power of n minus 1. And we are having 114, 674. So what you could do there, when you are having uh, 114, you are going to divide. Okay, 114, 6, 6, 7, 4, divide by 14. Both side, if you divide both sides by 14 here, we are going to have a 8,191. So which is 2 to the power of n minus 1. Taking 1 to the other side, it, it will be, it will make this 1,192. Yes, that's what we are going to have. So from there, you need to change this uh, into an exponential form. Remember, we are left with 2 to the power of n. Change this into exponential form. You could say 8192 uh, okay, equals to shift factor. That will be 2 to the power of 13. That will be 2 to the power of 13, which is 2 to the power of n. Hence, uh, n is equals to 13. To go back to see that, uh, that means that there are 13 terms that, will, that must be added to the 6 terms of the series in order to obtain uh, 110. 14,674, you can take this and substitute where there's n so that you see that it will give you this. Then that's where you'll ensure that you are correct. So let's go to the um, to 2.1.3, which is our last question at 2.1. At 2.1.3, they said if the first term of another series is uh, 448, we are given first term and the sixth term is 14. Calculate uh, the sum to infinity. So what is missing is, is that R here. In other words, we need to find R first before we can use the sum to infinity formula. Let's put that into practice. Remember that you are you are given you are given what a as a four hundred and forty eight. Okay. Given A is 448, and we are given that the sixth term, given that the sixth term is equal to 14. Using a geometric progression, this will be AR to the power 5, which will be equal to 14. Remember that you are given your A is 448. Okay, uh, so in other words, you are looking for here we are looking for r so we can divide both sides by uh, 448 448 divided by 14 okay 14 divided by 448 that's the same it's the same as uh, saying r to the power 5 is equals to 132 then we are going to say we are going to root both sides we are going to Yes, uh, to get r to the power 5, this and this will cancel. Then remember what I said. I said this is going to be 5 root. This is also going to be... Uh, we are going to root 5 root both sides. So sorry for this. So what is 5 root uh, 132 of 1 all over um, 32? Uh, right... That will be half, actually. It will give us half. 
R is half R is half, right? Okay. So we are not done. They said calculate the sum to infinity. Sum to infinity is equals to A, 1 minus R, where negative 1 is less than R, is greater than R, but lesser than 1. So your A is given as 448 divided by 1 minus half there. Let's see. What is that when we punch our calculator? 448 divided by 1. Okay, that will be one half. That makes it 896. We're having 896 as this is our sum to infinity. Then let's go to the last, last question. Then at 2.2.2, if uh, sigma, then the starting point is zero and the end point is K, we're given an equation in terms of P, it's equals to the sum, determine the value of K. In other words, collect the data, guys. Uh, first, formulate the series here. You're going to formulate the, 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 the series, check whether it's arithmetic or geometric, right? So let's write this. Let's put this into practice. Okay, we are having a 2.2. Remember that it's given as sigma, where p is 0, and the end point is k. So we are having 1 all over 3p plus 1 all over 6 in this case, which is equals to 20 and 1, all, 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 mixed fraction, 1 all over 6, okay? 20 and mixed fraction, it's a, and a fraction, it's a mixed fraction actually. So let's formulate a, an equation. What you could do, where there is p substitute 0, so we are going to say 1 all over 3, multiply by 0 uh, plus uh, 1 all over 6 uh, 1 all over 3 multiply by 0 we know that will be 0 plus uh, 1 all over 6 definitely it's going to be 1 over 6 so we are going to have 1 over 6 plus let's, let's put 1 then now let's see what are we getting when you put 1 where there is p you are, go you are getting half Plus, when we put 2, we are going to get, uh, let's see, that's 5 all over 6, 5 all over 6, plus blah, 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 which will is equal to the sum of, which is equal to the sum of 1 over 6 there, 20 and 1 all over 6. So, first thing first, first, you first collect your data, first term is 1 over 6. So, let's see whether this is geometric or arithmetic. We, we, we are going to say half. Subtracted by term two. Remember, it's term two. Subtracted by uh, term one, which is one over six. Let's see. Okay, what am I doing here? No, 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 no. This is one over three, right? This is the the difference is one over three. Then let's just say five. All over 6 subtracted by half. It's the same as 1 over 3. So that means the difference is 1 over 3. So we have Sn as what? As 20. Mixed, it's a mixed fraction with 1 over 6. Then what is missing? It's N. But they said in terms of K, so it's going to be K. In other words, what is missing is K. Okay. So we are going to use a sum formula for arithmetic sequence, which is n all over 2, 2a plus uh, n minus 1d. Okay, so we have, remember it will be in terms of k, it will be in terms of k. So we have our sum is uh, 20 uh, mixed fraction, right? Let's change that into proper fraction or improper. Okay, this is 1 all over 6 which will give us 121 all over 6. Okay, when we change that, 121 all over 6. Okay, we have K all over 2. Where there is A, we, sub, we shall substitute 1 all over 3. Uh, 1 over 6 is our, is our A plus uh, K minus 1. You're looking for K. The difference is 1 over 3. Then let's work out what is inside the bracket now. So, mixed fraction... If you can say not mixed fraction 2 times 1 all over 6, what is that? It's the same as having 1 over 3. It's the same as 
saying k all over 2 okay so equals to 1 over 3 plus k minus okay before we go further here 1 all over 3 times k it's the same as 1 all over 3k negative 1 times 1 all over 3 it's the same as 1 over 3 and remember that i'm working out what is uh, inside the bracket first so that we can uh, work out 1 over 3 and 1 over 3 they will cancel so what is 1 over k 1 over k guys 1 over 3k it's the same as k it's the same as k all over 3 because this is k times 1 which is k all over k all over 3 so it's the same as having here k all over 3 which is equals to 121 all over 6 so what is k times k that will be k squared and 2 times 3 it's going to be 6 so we're having 121 divided by 6 so we can cross multiply 6k 6 times k squared is going to be 6k squared and 121 times 6 let's see what is that 121 times 6 that will be 726 so we are having 726 we can divide both side by 6 divide both side by 6 okay okay so what we could say uh 726 the square root of 726 what is that did i do it correctly let me check there is something that i didn't do it correctly let's say 121 uh times uh, 6 that's 726 726 oh 726 726 divided by 6 that's 121 yes i i, I saw that and i'm making a mistake 726 divided by 6 that's 121 i then we can root both side we can root both side what is k k answer of 121 so that makes it k as 11 k it's 11 guys so you can see that k it's 11 in this k k it's 11 you can check you can check that whether this is true by going back where there is k you place 11 11 all over 2 okay remember that your a was given as uh, 1 all over 6 plus your k is 11 minus 1 the difference will be 1 all over 3 okay and then let's see does that gives you let's press sd yes it does give you what was here so that means it's correct so that's how you were supposed to get uh, that five marks Definitely it was a free 14 marks. Hope you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And remember, we love you. See you on the next video.